Hi, and welcome to Clean With Me. So the first part that we're gonna do today with new thing that I'm trying out, and it makes me very uncomfortable, but I think because it makes me uncomfortable is something that I should be doing. Um, so this is my very first house. This is our first home. Uh, my first home, Wyatt's first home, that sort of thing. And it has been quite a struggle keeping up with all of the maintenance that comes with a home. One of those things is keeping everything clean, <laughs> tidy, that sort of thing. So first thing is I thought I would make some videos of cleaning where we can clean together and I can show you how I do it and then you can probably roast me in the comments about how I'm not doing it right. So today we're going to be cleaning my stove, oven, all of that. So I'm going to tell you kind of what we've been doing here um, and how it got to this point. So first things first, these unplug. If you have a range stove like this, these literally act like plugs. They literally plug right out. You lift it up a little bit, pull it on a little, a little bit of force, and you will come out and they unplug. These I will wipe down in a little bit. Then I take the, um, like the little cover things, the little soup bowl kind of things. They just lift right out. Uh, they might be stuck if you see they've got this got a distinct ring on it it might be stuck with like food particles oil that sort of stuff if you haven't washed it in a while um, but it should just come right out now i have in here this is warm water some dish soap and a little bit of this iron out just the tiniest bit now when dealing with this this in particular has a very 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 strong feel so be careful with that um, but now i'm just letting it soak letting the kind of burnt on carbon and everything like that from the food and the oil just kind of sit here um, while I deal with this. Now, with this stove in particular, I've got a Frigidaire, all these things, I do not like range stoves. I prefer a glass top or even a gas range, uh, but the coil range, it, it gets the job done. It's a stove. So when we go down into the oven, I have taken out the racks, which are over there. I've done the dishes, cleaned all that out. The counter is cluttered just because we are cleaning today, but, and it's always just cluttered because we have so much stuff, but <laughs> the racks are over there, wiped down with just soapy water and then rinsed off and then let set over there to dry. But in here you'll see we've got, I think it's a piece of aluminum foil. So what we're going to do here is first off, I'm going to go get my vacuum and we're going to try and vacuum out as much of the debris as we can. So crumbs, particles, that sort of stuff, that's going to help us in the long run when we come to start scrubbing it. So for this up here, we want to go in with like a degreaser, something that's going to get the grease. And you definitely, definitely, definitely don't want to forget that backboard and also the entire area surrounding your stove. So the things that you sit next to your stove, like I have this little um, can here that's filled with like cooking utensils, spatulas, things like that. That can needs to get cleaned. All these oil bottles over here need to get cleaned this entire wall. So this here used to be a microwave, but what happened was when they installed it, they jerry-rigged it in such a way that it kept shorting out and it just became a huge, huge fire hazard. So we just took it out completely. And now it's just kind of hanging out there until we get another microwave or we figure out what we want to do with it. All right, so to excuse the noise of the dishwasher in the background, but I have my rainbow, who's the vacuum I'm going to be using. Um, with a little extension thing, but any vacuum that has a hose on it will work. So just a quick little sweep is going to get some of the bigger pieces of debris out there. So when we go to wipe it down, you're not sweeping a whole bunch of stuff into a crevice here or somewhere else. So I know that for some ovens, you can take the door off completely. I do not know how to do that with this one, so I'm not going to do that. And I think that it may be more trouble than it's worth. So let's go ahead and get started with some cleaning. So this is just diluted down pine salt. Um, so we're gonna start with that and see how it goes. So first thing we're just gonna spray it. Get it all the white one is you're gonna see 
all of the grossness, but already just this one turn is making this look a lot better. So now I'm gonna let that dry um, and just kind of air out a little bit. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna move up here. Just going in with my all-purpose cleaner, degreaser, spraying that. You can spray on your um, rag. If you were just doing spot cleaning, if you weren't doing a deep clean, I'd say spray it on your rag, then wipe down. But because I'm trying to um, clean the whole thing, I'm actually gonna close this. I'll leave it open just like that. So, fun thing is, all of these come off. And what we're gonna do is throw it in there. Get it wet, get it soapy, and then we can wipe it off later. And now, all of our things are in the same place. Rag and just kind of give it a good wipe down to kind of get the first layer of grease off. Just like that. We wipe back here, we wipe on top, and we wipe in between here. So by taking the knobs off, we're able to get underneath the knobs without turning them on. This is especially helpful with a gas range. Um, the previous house that I lived at, they had a gas range, or we had a gas range. And, you know, you get the ch -ch 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 -ch, the clicker. I know it's, it was called like an ignition or something. <laughs> Call it a clicker. All right, so now we got that. You can see it already looks a lot better, but what we're gonna do now is get our steel wool again. It's already wet from our um, pine salt, so I'm just gonna go in and gently rub at the areas that need a little bit more elbow grease. And if for some reason your stuff is just still not coming off, you may, especially when you're like frying bacon, you'll notice over here is greasy, over here is greasy, up here is gonna be gross, up here is gonna be gross. Now, especially one thing you're gonna do at least once a year, I don't know about you guys, but this is what we have on top of our cabinets. If you don't, if your cabinets go all the way, it's not a big deal. But when you cook and you're cooking something that has grease in it, oil, anything like that, which is pretty much everything, it's gonna have some kind, it's gonna aerosolize, it's gonna go up. It's gonna follow the heat and go up and essentially it's going to make a layer. So once a year, maybe twice a year, depending on how bad it is, you wanna go up here Take everything that you may have down. If you don't have anything, you do want to go up there and like scrub because you're going to eventually have like an inch layer of ick. So let's go on to these over here, these over here. Now, unless for these right here, because they're coils, because they conduct heat, unless they have something on them, I really don't like to scrub these. I don't like to clean them unless there's baked on food or something else. I really don't mess with these. I kind of just leave them. I will kind of wipe this down if it gets greasy, but for the most part, those are okay. These on the other hand, gross, 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 gross. So I'll take it over to the sink and we're gonna scrub them out. So I'm just gonna give them a little wipe down get them so they're not so drippy wet and you just literally sit it right there line that hole up with the prongs alrighty now you just take these line it up and it should just slide right in and then nest it. don't force it too much it should just kind of click in you can kind of feel a little bit of pressure and then you'll feel it kind of plug in just like if you were plugging in an outlet So that is cleaning the stove and the oven. Um, the only thing left is to put those racks back in there, but because you can change the racks up, 
I'm actually gonna cook something in a minute because um, I'm hungry. But yeah, we have a clean stove and a clean oven. I hope you enjoyed. Give me a like if you did, and I'll see you next time. Bye.